Okay, welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's Maths Channel. I'm now answering question number 12 from the exercise 3D of the Mechanics M1 Pearson at Excel um, International A-Level textbook. And this is from chapter 3 on vectors. Exercise 3D question number 12. It says a particle A starts at the point with position vector 12i plus 12j. The initial velocity of A is minus i plus j meters per second. And it has constant acceleration. Okay, so this is slightly different from the other questions that you normally find. You have constant acceleration. Normally it's constant velocity. This is now constant acceleration of 2i minus 4j meters per second squared. Another particle B has initial velocity i meters per second. And again, constant acceleration of 2j meters per second squared. So the initial velocity is i meters per second. And the constant acceleration is 2j meters per second squared. After three seconds, the two particles collide. Find the speeds of the two particles when they collide. So we want to find the speed of the two particle when time equals three, because that's when they collide. So let's look at the information we can gather about particle A. Now particle A, it has a position vector 12i plus 12j um, initially. So we can say, let's call that, um, let's say R0, that's where it's starting. 12i plus 12j. So I'll write this as column vectors. I like column vectors better. Um, and then it says the initial velocity of a is minus i plus j. So let's say u of a is minus 1i plus 1j. And it has constant acceleration. So the acceleration of particle a is 2i minus 4j. 2 minus 4. And another particle b has, so now we're talking about the particle b. A different particle has initial velocity, so u a u b sorry is equal to i meters per second. So that's one i and zero j, so it's one zero as a column vector, and it has acceleration. The acceleration of this particle b is two j, so it's zero i plus two j meters per second squared. Um, that's all that we know about b. It says after two after three seconds they collide. Find the speeds of these particles when they collide. So here we're not going to use r equals r0 plus vt because we don't have constant velocity so we can't use this but what we do have is we have constant acceleration so we can use the suvat equations so we can use um, v equals u plus at we have um, to find v in both cases we know u in both cases we know a in both cases and we know t in both cases in both cases the time is three Okay, so what we can do is for A, for example, we can say, let's look at A. We have V, the velocity of A after three seconds is its initial velocity, which is minus one, one plus A times three. So it's three times two minus four. So you end up with minus one plus six and one minus 12. So that gives you five and minus 11. So that's the velocity of A. Now they want us to give us the speed of A. That's the velocity of A. Okay, we want the the speed of a which is a magnitude of the velocity so the speed is a magnitude of the velocity which is the square root of 5 squared plus 11 squared which is the square root of 120 uh, 1 plus 146 okay so the square root of 146 let's just make sure that's 5 squared plus 11 squared okay that gives us 12.083 12.083 which is 12.1 meters per second that's the speed of a okay after three seconds when they collide now the answer in the back of the book says 121 meters per second and that's definitely a typo error that's definitely a typo error um it should say 12.1 meters per second they, they missed out the decimal point then for b if we look at b we have the velocity of b is given by its initial velocity, which is um, 1, 0, plus 3 times its acceleration, which is 0, 2. So this gives you 1 plus 0 over 0 plus 6, which is 1, 6. So we can say, therefore, the speed for b, the speed for b is going to be equal to um, the magnitude of the velocity of b, which is going to be the square root of 1 plus 6, 1 squared plus 6 squared, which is the square root of 37, which gives us the square root of 37, which gives us 
um, 6.0827, 6.0827, which is 6.08 meters per second, and that's correct in the back of the book. So these are the answers for the speed of A and the speed of, of B. Okay, so there's the answer for part A of the question. Um, that's sorted out. So we have to use V equals UAT, constant acceleration. We have not constant velocity. So we don't use R equals R0 plus VT. We use V equals U plus AT because we have constant acceleration. These are from the SUVA equations. Part B says find the position vector of the point where the two particles collide. All right, so we've got to find where they are when they collide. All right, so we know they collide at three seconds. Uh, time equals three. All right, so let's, we can work out that um, in the beginning, say this is O, we know that the position vector of the particle A is 12, 12. 12, 12, make it more realistic. Okay, 12, 12. Okay, so that's, that's, that's like R0. That's 12, 12. That's, you can say R0. This is for particle A. Okay, I know more information about A, so I'm going to use A to work out where A is when they collide. And that, of course, will be the same place where B is when they collide. But that's where it starts off. Now, when it says the position vector, it means from the origin. From the origin. Now, from the origin, this is where it started. This is where A started. This is when time equals zero. Now, that's where it started. Now, we know that it went um, with a velocity of... Um, well, we know that, what do we know? We know that it, it went with a, a velocity of 1, 6 from A. So basically, what we know in, in, in terms of um, both these particles is that they have constant acceleration. So I'm going to use the SUVA equation. So I'm going to, I'm going to use the SUVA equation. So S-U-V-A-T. So I know, I want to find S. I want to find where it's got to. S is where, where this has got to after the 3 seconds. Okay. That's where I need to find, okay? I know that its initial velocity, that's UA, which we were given, that's minus 1, 1. That's where, where it started. That's the initial velocity that it started with. We know the final velocity, the flight velocity that it was going at at the point where the collision occurred was 5 minus 11 for A. So it's 5 minus 11. I know the acceleration that it had in its journey, okay? That was given to us as 2 minus 4. And I know that it was going for three seconds. So what I want to find is S. That would be like X, Y. Okay. S would be where it's gone from this point. Okay. In those three seconds. And from that, once I've worked out where it's gone from the three seconds, I can then work out where it was from the origin. Okay. In the end to work out my answer. So I need to find S, which is displacement from the point where it started when it was going at that speed or that velocity. All right. So now I have everything I need to have. The only thing I need to find is S. I know U. I know V. I need. I know A. I need T. I need. I know T. I need. I know know all of the things I need to know. Right. So which one of the equations can I use? Well, we have V squared equals U squared plus two AS. We have um, S equals U T plus a half AT squared, and we have S equals U plus V over two times T. Now I don't want to use anything which has a squared in it. It's going to make things very really complicated when you have got these vectors. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use S equals u plus v over 2 times t. That's the easiest one to use in this case. I know what u is, I know what v is, I know what t is. I can use this to find the um, displacement from time equals 0 to time equals 3. Okay, and then I can use that therefore to find the position vector in terms of in relation to o in the n. So let's work out what s is here. s is going to be u which is minus 1, 1 plus v which is 5 minus 11 divided by 2 times 3. So you can say that's like 3 over 2 times. When you subtract these vectors, or you add these vectors, minus 1 plus 5 is 4. 1 minus 11 is minus 10. So that gives us 3 over 2 times 4. That's the, They cancel. That's 6. And 3 over 2 times minus 10. That's minus 5 times 3, which is minus 15. So that is the displacement in those 3 seconds. So it's gone 6 across and minus 15 so it ends up down here somewhere okay so this is 6 minus 15 that's its displacement in the three seconds it ends up over here let's call this point x okay so we want to find the, the vector from o to x because that's the position vector of where it ended up we want to find the position vector in relation to the origin so we need this vector here 
So we can see from the diagram, it's basically this plus that. So OX will be 12, 12, where it was when it started in relation to the origin, plus 6 minus 15. How far it's gone from where it started, okay, to where it's ended up. So that's going to be 18 and minus 3. So this is the answer. This is the position vector of the point where the two particles collide. Because they both collide at t equals 3 seconds. So they both end up at this, they must be at the same point at that same time. Okay, we don't need to show that for b because we know that they collide after 3 seconds. Why? Because the question tells us that they collide after 3 seconds. So that means after 3 seconds, they must be in the same place. So if I can work out where b, a is at, at after 3 seconds, b must be in that same place for sure. Okay, because they both collide at that same place. All right, so it's very important for us to realize that. So there's the answer to part B. And now for part C, we've got to find the position vector of B's starting point. Okay, so now we know that B, um, again, we, has constant acceleration. So we can use the SUVAT equations. So I'm going to, again, write down what I know about B um, in terms of SUVAT. So let's think about its initial position which that's actually what we have to f we have to find this uh, the initial position of we know the initial we've got to find the initial position we we know about the initial velocity they told us the initial velocity of b is i so it's one zero so we know this we know the initial velocity and we also worked out the final velocity in the first part of the question oops backwards okay which was um as a vector it was one six that's the final velocity Okay, after three seconds, one, six. Okay, that's after three seconds. And we know the acceleration. Um, we were told the acceleration, um, 2j, so 0, 2. Okay, 0, 2. That's the information we know about the movement of the particle B. Okay, so now we want to find its position vector where it started. So let's just say this is O. Okay, we don't know where it started. Okay, let's just put a random place here, x. Uh, not x, we're, we're x is... Let's, let's put this point p where it started. Okay, we don't know what this, 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 this vector is. I'm going to call it the vector, um, you know, just, just, just uh, we'll, we'll just call it r, b, 0. This is where r was in the beginning when it first started. Okay, it's in relation to the origin. But we know that from the point that we know where it was at t equals zero seconds okay until it reached um three seconds after three seconds okay we can try to figure out where it ended up okay where it ended up okay this is t equals three seconds let's say this where it, this is x now we know where it ended up because it's the place where it collided so we know that after three seconds it ended up at the same place that the particle A was, okay, which was 18 minus 3 in relation to the origin. So from the origin to this place, it's 18 minus 3. But I can draw it, draw it a bit more realistically and put it down here. Okay, so 18 minus 3, somewhere down here. So we know that it ended up over here, or call that point, point, point X. That's where it ended up after... Um, three seconds that's when time equals three seconds okay i know also that um i got to find out what this position was okay i know what this position is okay now what i can work out with the information given is how it got from here to here this is this is going to be basically my s how it got from here to here Okay, so at t equals zero seconds, it was here. At t equals three seconds, it was there. This would be my s. This would be the vector representing uh, the displacement that it has gone in those three seconds. So the s here represents how it moved to get from where it was at zero seconds to where it was at three seconds, where, it, where they collided. So if I use these equations to find s, I will have found this vector over here. And our objective is to find this vector here, where it's position vector when it started. But if I find what this is, I know what this is, I can find what that is because I can say from O to P is O to X minus X to P. So I've got to take this minus that vector that I'm going to find that took me from P to X. 
Okay, that will give me the vector O to P. So that's kind of like a you know overview of what I'm trying to do here. So to how do I find that S? Well, I know there's constant acceleration. Okay, so I can use SUVAT. And again, the the most the easiest one to use is U plus V over two times T. This will cause me not to have to use any type of squaring or anything like that and make it easier. So that S here, this S here is going to be equal to U, which is one zero. Um, plus v, which is um, 1, 6, divided by 2 times the time, which is 3, which is basically 3 over 2 times the vector 1 plus 1, which is 2, and 0 plus 6, which is 6. So if I work out what that vector is, that's going to be 3 over 2 times 2, which is 3, and 3 over 2 times 6, the two, that's going to give you 9. So this is the vector 3, 9. Okay, so it doesn't look like 3, 9 because I'm starting blindly, I don't know where it was, but it's actually, it started off down here somewhere, went 3, 9, but no problem. It's just a, a diagram to illustrate, um, you know, the vector geometry I have to do. All right, so 3, 9. Okay, so I want to find the vector from O to P. Okay, so we want to find the vector from O to P, which is in our diagram O to X minus X to P. That's according to what I've put in my diagram. Okay, so that's going to be O to X, which is the position vector that we found earlier, where it was when it collided, which is 18 minus 3, minus the vector um, X to P. It's like going backwards to where it started. So that's going to be X to P is um, going to be, so it's minus, it's basically minus P to X, sorry. It's plus X to P, I should say, minus P to X, P to X. So it's minus this vector here, which is 3, 9. That's the same as x to p. Okay, minus p to x is like adding x to p. So no problem, that's fine. That's 18 minus 3, which is 15, and minus 3 minus 9, which is negative 12. So this is uh, the position vector of where it started. So the initial, initial position vector of b is 15 minus 12. That's where it was when it first started its journey. Okay, so it's, it's, somewhere, it's somewhere down here. Well, I've, the way I've drawn it, just to get the vector geometry right, I've drawn it slightly wrong, but it's not a big deal. We didn't know what it was before we started, so it's no problem. It just gives us the right sums to use. Okay, now another thing you should note is that this doesn't mean that its path, this just represents, you know, um, where it was at time equals zero, where it was at time is three. It doesn't mean it got there by a straight line because the acceleration was constant. The velocity was changing. So the velocity is not always the same. So it might, it might change direction there, but that's where it was at t equals zero. That's where it is at t equals three in terms of its position. So we can use these vector diagrams to work out the position vector at these points. Okay, so anyway, that, that, that concludes this question. Um, question number, um, what was it? Number 12 from this Mechanics 1, Chapter 3, uh, 3D, okay, uh, question from the, the Mechanics book. Other questions from this chapter of this book will be found in the playlist that will appear in this region over here. Other questions from um, vectors in general and the playlist over here, you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on this link. And the video here will show you how to use my channel to find things that you might find uh, useful for your revision or your work in general. Thank you for watching and see you soon.